Hi, everybody. How do I remember your star director? So I'm going to try something new, and I'm going to try to stick to time. Five minutes. So five-minute trainings. I'm going to try to do this at least once a week, hopefully more. Um, teach you something, and if you just watch for five minutes and take it, take the information, apply it to your life and your business, your business will grow. Promise. Um, so today I want to tell you a quick story and I'm keeping an eye on the clock. Um, I was flying back from a sense family reunion and I happened to sit across the aisle from a gentleman who was sitting next to two Sensi consultants. Um, they had been with Sensi for about a year and as they started chit chatting with this gentleman and getting to know him, they were very excited about Sensi family reunion and all the things coming and being a consultant and it was so great. And they were telling him all the things and asking him all the questions and he was asking questions. He was being polite and having conversation. Um, and they just were telling him all the things. They were talking about um, our new catalog and they were talking about being a consultant and they were talking about growing teams and they were talking about their titles and how long they'd been with Sensi and they were talking about awards that we were getting at reunion and they were talking about the compensation plan they started literally telling him that it was 20% of your sales and then you'll get 25% at a thousand like they were going through the compensation plan with this poor gentleman in the airport like before we had even taken off it was a whole thing they all the things right and so when you meet new people it's really really important not to throw up information all over them you will drive people away they will not want first of all they're not going to hear you they will shut you down mentally um, and not hear a word you say and they will have no interest in seeking you out to have a second conversation because you've given them all the information and they've already made their decision They've already decided whether to do business with you, whether it be buy something, host party, or book, or join your team. They've already decided because you've given them all the information before they've even gotten to know you or been able to kind of even think about how it might affect them. Um, they've already decided because you gave them all the information right up front. So it's really, really important when you meet someone new that you not throw up all over them. It's it's just really not good business. It's not going to help you grow your team. It's not going to help you get customers. You want to get to know people. Yes, absolutely. We hear all the time about building relationships, and that's what you need to know. So from here on out, I'm going to give you three questions that you need to answer when you meet someone new. You ready? Who, what, and how? That's it. Oh, when. Let's add when in there. Let's make it four. <laughs> so. We want to find out who they are. You want to find out what they do. You want to find out how you can help them. And you want to find out when you're going to talk to them again. That's another one. That's, that's a great fourth question. So let's make it four. If anybody can think of another question you need to find out, then write it in the comments. Um, so when you meet someone new, if you start talking to a stranger, your goal is not to share Sensi with them. I know that sounds really weird and it's probably counterintuitive to what you might be feeling and how excited you are about Sensi and all the things, but you have to build the relationship first. They are not going to do business with you or join your team or have a party and invite you into their home if they do not know who you are and trust you to do business with them. You've got to get to know people. You've got to find out who they are. What do they do so that you can have a conversation? They might do something super cool. You need to find out how you can help them and how you can help them may not be with Sensi. It might be something else in your life, some other access to someone or something or information that you have that you can help them. But when you help people, then they trust you. They remember you. They think you're pretty cool and they might talk to you about to their friends or they want to talk to you again. So how can you help them? Whether it be Sensi or not, you may have information or a contact that can help them with the, whatever it is. You may have experienced something that they are experiencing that, that you can provide advice on. So who are they? What do they do in their life? You want to find out what is their job, what is their life like, and what people do really defines what, they, what their life is like, right? Um, how you can help them, whether it's Sensi or not. And then when are you going to talk to them again? which means you need to exchange information in some way. If that means you friend each other on Facebook, if that means you get their information so that you can 
um, follow up with them in some way. Um, if you have a contact that you want to connect them to, perhaps you get their information so you can connect again in the future, whether it be a business card that you hand over, uh, whatever it is, when are you going to get to talk to them again? So those are four things. If you focus on those four things when you meet new people, I promise that you will make a better impression. People will like talking to you. You want to give people just enough information about you because if you find out what they do, they're going to ask what you do. And if you tell them you're with Sensi and you have this business, they might be curious and ask you questions. If they ask you about your business, then fair game, talk about it. But if they don't ask you about your business, do not throw up all over them. Just get to know who they are and connect them. As you get to know each other, they will learn about your business, right? So throw it out there, make them curious, but do not give them all the information. You want them walking away from you, thinking about you, wondering about this thing that you said or this thing that you did, wanting to know more, right? You want them to walk away wanting to know more and curious about who you are and wanting to connect with you again. That's your goal. So find out who people are. Who, what, how, and when are you going to talk to them? Try it out the next time you meet somebody new, and I promise you will start to build relationships that will grow your business. I hope you guys have an amazing day. We'll talk to you again soon.